So now the morning paper is full of worries about the solvency of some banks, which will have to pony up to rescue a large hedge fund that is in liquidation. But I kind of thought banks were in good shape. In fact, smart folks have been telling me it's time to buy banks and financials. And despite a rise in long-term interest rates, we've still got some bond bulls out there. What do you think of that? Buy bonds in front of a giant recovery. Quite interesting. Dave Bonson, um, there's always something wrong. So I'm just reading these stories. Uh, most of the banks got hit this morning. I don't know how they finished. But Credit Suisse and Nomura supposed to be in a lot of trouble uh, because there's hedge funds and liquidation. And you're supposed to run for cover and go away from banks. What's your take on that, Mr. Bonson? Um, I'm used to my phone and devices blowing up Sunday afternoon with with worries about the futures and the market and all the doom and gloom because the market futures are going to be down a thousand points and all these different things. Uh, The market was up 450 (laughs) points on Friday, was up 100 points today, and I'm getting all the same tweets and alerts as if we were in some kind of a panic mode. It is the weirdest disconnect I've ever seen. It's an isolated hedge fund covering positions in a margin call. There is nothing systemic going on to anyone, and I don't know where this entire narrative is coming from. And um, David Bonson, speaking of bond yields rising, Okay, so it's an interesting story in the Wall Street Journal, contrarian's story. Uh, Bond bulls charge ahead, challenging consensus on rising yields. And they mentioned this chap, Robert Tipp, uh, chief investment strategist at PGIM Fixed Income. They have had a good record down through the years. Dave Bonson, would you be buying bonds right now? No, I wouldn't be buying bonds, but I wouldn't be fearful of yields rising. And it comes back to the same thing that you, me and Jim have talked about together a couple times. Uh, I just don't believe this big inflation story. And I think the idea of bond yields going higher because we're vaccinating our population and getting herd immunity and getting the economy reopening. I don't see any problem with bond yields at 1.7 percent. But the whole thing about being a bond bull, meaning that I think the 10 years going back to below 100 basis points, I wouldn't be in that camp. I just think we know what the pressures are, Larry, and the and the 10 year probably belongs somewhere between one and a half and two percent.